It's a story you saw first on 10. Two years ago today, NBC10 broke the news that Kurt Schilling's video game company, 38 Studios, was having financial problems. This after the state put $75 million into it. And now we're fighting over whether to make good on the debt left behind. Political reporter Bill Rapley was the first to report on this story. He's live in the newsroom with a recap of the demise of 38 Studios. Bill. Well, Patricia and Jean, that demise came pretty quickly. The video game company folding up less than a year after the bonds were sold to bring it to Rhode Island. Um, it was a bond issue. Kurt Schilling had apparently succeeded in everything he'd attempted, especially baseball, where he helped the Red Sox win the World Series in 2004. So he approached Rhode Island Governor Don Cacheri about expanding his video game company into Rhode Island and creating 450 local jobs, and the governor pushed for the deal. Within months, the General Assembly passed a bill and the Economic Development Corporation had sold $75 million of bonds. The company moved to Providence in return in April 2011, but it ran out of its money before it finished building the game. The first notice being this conversation I had with Governor Lincoln Chafee. We're always going to work hard to keep Rhode Island businesses solvent, and that's what we're doing with 38 Studios. Employees at the company never received another paycheck, and before the end of the month, the building was shuttered. Chafee has sued former officials at the EDC, which has been renamed the Rhode Island Commerce Corporation, including former director Keith Stokes and deputy director Michael Saul. Stokes has since landed a job with the May 4th lobbying group. Saul is working for a financial services company, according to its website. The suit also names Kurt Schilling, who only today sold his house and has reported he is currently battling an undisclosed cancer. Former Governor Don Cacheri and former House Speaker Gordon Fox are not named in the suit, but the House Oversight Committee has expressed interest in hearing from them as it has begun digging into the process that rushed the loan program through the General Assembly. Legislators also are now debating whether to pay back the bonds, and one expert says they should, if only to keep the state's favorable bond rating, which makes borrowing cheaper. Markets don't forget, and we will be a stereotype of what not to do. We cannot afford this. 38 Studios was a big issue in the governor's race four years ago, and this time around, the payment of those bonds is a big issue. The lawsuit and the House Oversight Committee may finally get answers as to whether anybody intentionally deceived lawmakers or the public. And then there's the ongoing state police probe. This story certainly a long way from wrapping up. I'm Bill Rapley, NBC 10 News in the newsroom.